sit off at the side, apparently, today. No. I'm gonna get my legs in. Here we go. Boop. Cheat mode. Oh, okay. Not broken, just turned. Ha ha ha. Hello. And this is on. Cool, we did it. First try. Got that. And. Oh, Jesus. Where did it go? Oh, no. Tennis! 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 Okay. Hello. Cam is the name. Tennis is the game. So, we are talking about day three today. Uh, it's been so fun. I forgot to knock off how many Americans were eliminated, so... No, we're not going to do that. Yeah, we are. Just talk about the matches. For the most part, I did pretty well. I did get four wrong, which is a quarter of total matches. So not terrible, not great, but not terrible. Could have done worse. Um, I did get one of the ones I was pretty surprised about was Kukushkin over Garen. Apparently Garen is ranked. Didn't see that coming. Uh, but Kukushkin still took him out. Boom. Uh, the Djokovic Edmund, like I said, that was Djokovic's chance of losing. Djokovic lost the first set, pretty scary, but then walked over Edmund. Uh, Momo against Struff. I really thought Momo was going to put up more of a fight. He didn't, he got walked. Uh, I think the first set was the only close one, and then it was like 6 3, 6 1. <laughs> Nothing. But upsetting, but again, he was a uh, wild card, so not super upsetting. Uh, the other one I got wrong was Davidovich Fokina took out uh, her catch. She another one just unranked taken out a ranked player. Didn't see that coming. Uh, I don't really know Davidovich Fokina that well. I've seen him play once, maybe twice. And then when it comes to the other guy, her catch, I think I've seen him play once, maybe, maybe once, but I don't know for sure. So. Uh, I didn't really have a good gauge on that match, but Davidovich Fakina took it uh, four sets, I'm pretty sure. Uh, then this one actually kind of hurt me, it was Jack Sock against Shane Manorino. Jack Sock, I, I mean, Shane Manorino has been playing singles on the tour for the last, like, three years really well. And Sock, yeah, hasn't been playing singles, so I guess that that must have been the difference, but oh, it was straight sets for Manorino. Very upsetting. But, uh, you know, I didn't get to watch most of the matches, so I don't know how they went. Uh, I really, uh, the only ones I got to watch were the Tsitsipas match and Denis Shapovalov, which, whew, let me tell you, those matches were... Well, the first two sets were close and scary, um, but then after that, the, my picks ran away. Shapovalov, g yeah, gave me a scare first two sets. Wasn't too sure if uh, Quan was going to push. And Quan actually looked really good in the second set. That was a that was a tough second set, but nah. Shapovalov's like, nah, I'm going to use my weird left-handed, one-handed backhand to freak you out, and he did. It worked. Uh, Taylor Fritz hit the fastest serve so far, 141 miles per hour, which is pretty crazy if I do say so myself. Uh, oh, Escobedo's tomorrow. Why did I just cross him off? Stupid, stupid. Uh, I'm trying to go through all the names so I can get rid of some of these, but I don't think I can get rid of... Oh, there's one I can get rid of. Krieger's gone. Yep. Grano boost up. Excuse me, one fairly easily. Oh, the other one was, uh, was it Thompson? Thompson over at Jerosimov wasn't crazy, but I picked that. Gofan over Harris wasn't that big. Karinovich over Giron might have been. I don't, no, I don't think that was a tough match. I think that was fairly straightforward. Chorich over Landero. Chorich again, almost fizzled, like I said. Was, I 
don't see him getting past Sitsi Boss, who absolutely. I don't understand how he got so good. It's one of those. Like, I obviously I understand that he is good. His one handed backhand is very well trained. It's probably the best way to say it because he can do a lot of different variety shots with that. He has a lob drop shot, power, but his power is. No, his power is more controlled. It's not very powerful, but like all out power, it's more like he can pick a spot and he can put it he can put it there very quickly. Um But yeah, he's he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with. I actually kinda wish I put him in my semifinals after watching. I don't know what that was. I think that was a duck. Sorry, I woke up like this. Um and then yeah, that's let's see. Uh, Nori, Cameron Nori took out Korea. Again, the whole country of it. Just kidding. No window. Uh, Zverev took out Nakas Nakashima. My goodness, I almost said Nakasaki. That's not it at all. Uh, Jerome is out. Okay, so now we're going to get back to the remaining Americans, which are Stevie Johnson's out. No, yes, Stevie Johnson is out. Oh yeah, Barankas beat him. I don't think I talked about that. Uh I just didn't see that one coming. Barankas is is the higher rank over Johnson, but Johnson beating Isner. I mean again, you know I'm not a huge fan of Isner, so I'm not gonna say that Isner is a crazy good matchup. But you know, taking out a big man and then going into a relatively low ranked match. I thought Johnson had it, but Barankas took him pretty easily. Uh, he is facing Karina Busta in the next round. I don't think he'll do so well there, but played a, played a good match against Johnson, apparently. Again, not one of the ones I saw, so I don't have much input on that. Now, since there are only eight matches tomorrow, yeah, I can do that. I'm going to just tell you my winners from each match predictions you know and then at the end I'll, I'll, I don't know, I'll figure something out we know how this goes so we got uh I got Novak Djokovic taking it over John Leonard Struff then we have Karina Busta over Barankas like I said Shapovalov taking on Fritz that's gonna be a big match to watch I think in terms of matches to watch that's probably number one yeah that's definitely number one Manorino Zverev is gonna be a, an interesting one to watch along with Tsitsipas Chorich might be but I would probably rather watch the Karinovich Gofan match just cause Karinovich is a grinder and Gofan is really good and he probably should win in straight sets but Karinovich is one of those kind of grinder players that can prolong a match pretty well so I'd put that over the uh, Sitsipas Chorich match just because I think Chorich is going to fizzle and Sitsipas won't have much of a problem with him. That being said, Chorich is a young player, Sitsipas is a very young player. That could throw them off a little bit, so it could be interesting, could be a flat match. I think it's going to probably be a flat match though, with Sitsipas walking over Chorich. Uh, then we have Shapovalov over Fritz, Krinovich losing to Gofan. Uh, I have Thompson, the Australian, losing to Kukushkin, which, that's going to be a close match too, but I think Kukushkin has had the harder rounds, and I think that's just going to help push him through Thompson. Uh, then Cameron Nori, I have taken out Davidovich Fakina, just because he's got a great name, can't beat it. And Shane Manorino losing to Alexander Zverev. And I really, I'm nervous on that one just because Manorino, the matches he's had, uh, I mean, not Sonego really, but Sonego's a tough player, and then to go sock right after, and win in three sets too. He beat sock straight sets. So uh, Manorino, that, that could be an upset for Zverev. I think Zverev has a big challenge coming his way, but <sighs> Zverev's looked Looked pretty good. He had Anderson first round. Anderson's a tough player, so ah, I've got, I lean a little more towards Zverev just because he does have the rank, youth, and he's 
He's a strong player. Where Mandarino's a strong player, he's got the grinder aspect since he doesn't have the rank, but he's he still just doesn't have that experience yet, which is weird because I think he's a few years older than Zverev. I'm not one to say. Sorry, microphone. All right, so yeah, Zverev taking Mandarino down. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that was day three. <laughs> I can count. I don't really know. Uh, again, I got four wrong, so I'm rocking a solid 23 incorrect out of, what was that, 64 possible matches the first day and 16. So I'm at 80, 20, uh, yeah, 23 out of 80 wrong. Not great. Just under 75%. But we're going to work on it as we, as we narrow it down, right? We get better. It'd be a lot harder to get worse. But... <laughs> I'm gonna make a push okay so that being said I'm pretty sure that's it we got day four gonna start in I don't know what time it is everything that tells the time is over there um, I think it's about eight o'clock so we got three hours before we get matches rolling I think that's gonna be great and I already listed my winners as far as matches I'm most excited about Wolf, Carbias Benia. That's psh, JJ Wolf. I'm gonna talk about him, even though he's gonna lose. Probably. I mean, no, Carbias Benia. Man, what is that? Is that a mouse? Am I sitting on a mouse? I was trying to get out. Mm, that's a, it's a rough mouse. Then, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Jesus. Wolf Carbias Bania. I, mean, I can't even cut that out. We're just gonna have a couple farts in there. It's gonna be fun. Uh, Wolf Carbias Bania. Pospisil Raonic. It's gonna be a great match for those Canadians watching the U.S. Open. Uh, in terms of supporting your nation, Vasic is not much of a singles player though, and Raonic has looked really good. So I think Raonic is just gonna walk over him. Okay, I really shouldn't get in. Oh, and Diminor against Gasquet. Sorry, those are the three matches that everyone should be watching today. Diminor, Gasquet, Pospisil, Raonic, and JJ Wolf, Carbias Mania. If you miss all the other matches but catch those three, we're best friends. I'm not going to make a political statement right now, but that's not what I mean by that. I mean, good job, okay, a okay, tastes delicious, whatever I use that. I'm not a Okay, so uh, have a have a day. It's when it's Thursday. I did that yesterday. I thought it was Tuesday all day. And uh, I'm gonna see y'all never, cause I'm on this side of the world, and you guys are on that side. And I don't see you. You just see me because the cameras work that way. I don't look into cameras.